Dominic Epsilon. Welcome to another realestate.com.kh TV report. Today we have Grant Fitzgerald back in the studio. Grant is Country Manager for IPS Cambodia, Independent Property Services. Uh, they're a real estate agency that have been active in Cambodia for over seven years and have offices in Phnom Penh and Sam Reap. Thanks very much for joining us today, Grant. Thanks for having me, James. Pleasure to have you here. So, uh, Grant, let's talk a little bit about uh, financing property investments in Cambodia for a foreigner. So let's say I'm a foreigner, uh, which I am, who wants to invest in, in Cambodia new development property, so a condo or an office or something that's, that's off plan. What are my financing options generally? How can I get money to buy it? So there are a number of options out there for, for foreigners to, uh, to get a loan. Uh, firstly, we just kind of need to mention that, that foreigners will only get loans on strata title properties. Um, if, unless you're a Cambodian citizen, uh, you won't be able to actually buy a hard title or a soft title property. Um, so banks definitely only require, will only look at strata title properties for, uh, for foreigners. Um, and there are banks that have started doing some lending to foreigners over the last few years. Uh, usual terms for that are about up to about 50% of the value of the property uh, with a maximum term of about 25 years and the standard interest rates usually between about 8 and 9%. Uh, the other option that foreigners have is getting uh, fa financing directly from the developer. Um, terms from the developers vary. It's usually uh, can be significantly more expensive than getting a bank loan. Um, but I've, I've seen developers offering uh, interest rates as low as 9% and as high as about 15%. And, and how about when the, when the property is completed and ready to move in? Will the foreigner have more finance options at this stage? Uh, banks here are pretty conservative um, and they require significant collateral in order to get a loan. Um, so foreigners and even, even locals, it's, it's quite hard to get loans here. Um, as a foreigner, you can only own a strata title property um, so that's the only option you have to, to put forward as collateral, so you're pretty limited in what you can get. And uh, do, do you ever see foreigners taking a home loan in their, in their home country and then coming to Cambodia to buy a property with that loan? Um, no, I've, ne I've never heard of it successfully being done. I've had quite a few clients come in and, and say they're going to talk to their banks back home and, and see if it's possible. Um, but yeah, I think banks would be uh, pretty unwilling to uh, give a loan based on uh, Find a property in Cambodia. And any other things for a foreigner to consider when they're thinking about financing a property in Cambodia? Yeah, as I mentioned before, banks won't lend against soft title properties, especially if you're a foreigner, because you can't have the foreigners can't have their name on those those properties. Um, they'll look, for a foreigner, they'll only lend on uh, strata title properties. Um, so if, if you're a foreigner, foreigner, you're looking at a condo that doesn't come with a proper strata title; it comes with a soft title. You won't be able to get a loan from a bank. Uh, you might be able to get a loan directly from the developer. Um, but as I mentioned before, that's uh, quite a bit more expensive than the terms that the banks uh, will give you. Thanks, Grant, for coming in. It's been a pleasure chatting. Thanks for having me. No worries. And for all our viewers, cheers for tuning in to another realestate.com.kh TV report. Stay tuned uh, for more real estate news and analysis.